sides now they like like everything that is going flashy 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 and so what about we women that we don't know is our men actually likes that little little things even if it doesn't cost much but that little things little packaging little surprises that we give to them man in every man there's a king mm -hmm. there's a man and there's a baby in, in your both um dating experiences like nigeria and ghana dating experiences did you at any point make these sacrifices for the men and mm -hmm. how did they react to it yeah. When you gave to a Nigerian man and you gave to your Ghanaian boyfriend, you gave to your Nigerian boyfriend, how who, who how did they react to it? I feel Hey there, welcome back to my channel. You are new here. Hi, welcome. My name is Lily and you are Faithful. Faithful, this is your like third time on my channel. <laughs> what is happening? Are you now um is this channel <laughs> now for me and you? <laughs> okay know. no she's a guest because some of you my darlings have asked that she comes you like her she's intelligent she's this she's she's beautiful and then some people even want to know if she's single so can you answer that are you single <laughs> i don't know that you come to my channel <laughs> Uh, some people yeah you have a youtube channel by the way yeah so what will you be doing on your channel yeah i'll be talking about relationships and, and um, your problems in relationships and also spiritual works oh and right special grace you are like you yeah. are like a spiritualist yeah i believe most things like i believe in spiritual things then okay so, so you're going to be teaching people yeah. on that all right, so I'm going to link her channel in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check her out. And of course, let's go straight into today's video. I'm going to talk about our experience, our dating experiences. Mm -hmm. She is half Nigerian, half Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. I am full-blooded Nanja chick. I have been in a relationship in Ghana and I've dated in Nigeria. I've dated in Ghana. You as well, right? Yeah. You have dated in Ghana and you have dated in Nanja. Well, like. <laughs> we are going to talk about our dating experiences in Nigeria and in Ghana. Mm. So, like Nigerian men versus Ghana men. Mm, in this case, since we are women, Abi, mm. you do women? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're strictly going to be talking about men. Now, how has it been for you? You've dated a man in, in Ghana. Have you dated a Ghanaian before? Yeah. And uh, have you dated a Nigerian? Yes. Can you be kind to share your own bias dating experience? Dating experiences in this relationship. Mm. No, be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is easy, I know. It's not mm -hmm. easy. Okay, like, so dating. In, how was it for you dating mm. in Nigeria? Nigeria, I mean, most especially the Igbo part of Nigeria. Mm. I can't get married to an Igbo man. Sorry if you are an Igbo man. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, they, they are, they are, they you are, didn't see me. I'm on a valley on. They know they see them. <laughs> so, you didn't see me in this video. <laughs> yeah. half, you are half Igbo, half fancy. Yeah. So, I thought. Um, Ibo, I would like. Okay, so can you explain your reason? Mm, Unbiased. She's not angry. She's partly uh, Igbo, no. partly fancy. So explain why. Because I feel maybe Igbo guys, some of them they are too stingy. They are they they they, they, they yeah they are, they are stingy. Me, Igbo man, once supposed to be Anambara, see those particular people. They want you to um they want to know you. They like they they want to like let them build a something round about you. Like you're not going anywhere. Let you. This guy. We dated for over two years, but in particularly that two years that we dated, mm, any money he gives to me. I always work for the money. Now this is my. This I don't is, understand. How do you work yeah, for money is, in your relationship? Yeah, this is, this so what kind of job does know, he yeah, push push on for you to do? He's, he works laptop. He sells laptops. Okay. He sells shoes. Mm. You know, Igbo guys, they like money too much. Ah, they like so, to work. Yeah. It's not just so like what, what, money. They work. So they if work. I ask him if I if I don't have money, and I ask him, babe, I need money. I need twenty thousand. I say, eh, you want twenty thousand? Okay. Do you know what you do? Come. Come to my house. He will come. He will give me laptops. He will give me phone. I should go and sell it. Anyone I can sell. I should bring half percent for him, and he's going to give me the, the money 20%. I want. Yes. I mean, he's going to give you the twenty thousand. He's going from. to give me the twenty thousand for me, and he's not going to add. Oh. 
but I will be working. That, like, and that means you were you were earning your monies on commission. You were yeah. not, that money was given to you. Like he didn't but give. He was not giving. Like there is a different between when you're, 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 you just call your man and your man, babe, I need so so money to do something, and he sends it to you. Then when you call your man, like what if you don't have the energy? And I was also working on. Mm, so you. What if I don't? Yeah. Though. What if I don't have the energy to do that? You'll be like, eh, ah. Oh, no, they worry me. No, they worry me. I come now. See these phones. Eh? They don't do these shops since nobody they buy them. I carry them. What is most small phone? Tell me, are you going to say this on this Nokia phone? Go and say anybody that will buy 33,000. 33,000. You pack. Maybe you pack like 15 and give to me. I will not start going to my streets. I'll be like, who will buy phone? Who will buy phone? I must sell that phone. Thing. So do you, you really get buyers? Yeah, I get buyers. Hey, but you were having a business. You had a business partner in a boyfriend. So what the complaint? I don't like but it. But wait, to <laughs> ah, now give me money. Like me, give give me money. So you like, want him to give you free money that you didn't work for? You just tell you how much you need and you tell uh, him. The other one I used to give to him is not free. It's okay. also free. So why won't he give me free money? He wants me to practically, this is not only about phone, everything he wants me to work for. Okay, now, now, do you think he did that to you because he's an evil man? I feel so. <laughs> okay, sometimes we may feel something that is actually not. That's right. Uh -huh. Be I don't think he did that to you because he's evil. I think it's just, um... He was that is the kind of person. Man. Yeah, he's just he the kind of person that he is. Man. You can still meet a typical businessman that would give you his money without having to have you work for that money. But maybe he's just that kind of person that likes to do that. Why? It's just, it doesn't mean it's because he's Igbo. Me, I don't think so. Okay, now, uh, apart from him, did you at any point date this an, another, another Igbo, Igbo guy? guy. Uh, or you were too frightened by your experience yeah. with him? Um, Igbo guys, Igbo, Igbo. I Igbo. Igbo guys. Some of them they are nice. And Igbo man, uh, they are always I'm on a nice to their wife. If they eventually get married to you, mm -hmm. they are, if they, are, they have money. Okay, now I'm not going to sit. They will spoil you. Okay, they will spoil you. The good ones, they will spoil you with money. But say you're just doing they relationship can. first. Hey, hey, hey. She would do like this. Uh, I think... Um, if you don't have patience, you can't. You well, I, I, let me not sit down and pretend that that is not common. That is very common <laughs> among Igbo guys. Mm -hmm. they, they feel like as a girlfriend, mm -hmm. you, as a girlfriend, you just, you are a good girl. <sighs> and it's not their responsibility take to care take care of you. But as a wife, you are, you become their responsibility yeah, they and they want to do everything for you because they believe they own you now. So you get it. Well, so after that experience with an Igbo guy, you didn't have the mind to try again hmm. later. No. You know, you know, born, they're not born you well again. They're not born you well. Though. Okay, now, have you dated a fancy man or let's say, yeah. have you dated a Ghanaian? A Ghanaian I've dated. Okay, tell us. Hmm. Hey! I don't know, you guys. Oh, just, please please be nice, so because, because think, I want to get married to a Ghanaian I've, I've, man. I've, I've, I want uh, you to, be, to respect yourself and be hey, nice. Don't worry, share your honest see, experience. My honest experience with, with a Ghanaian man. Everybody, they have good and bad people. So mm -hmm. don't don't blame me. Especially when it comes don't to hit, relationships. Don't hit on me because I said my truth. They won't. You uh -huh. just spoke your truth so, about the <laughs> guy. So and they let, me, let, me, let me go back to... The head didn't quit. Let me go back to... So I, 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 there was this guy I was dating. His name is Kofi. Okay. Hey. Um, <laughs> Kofi. His name is Kofi. Kofi mm. is a soldier guy. He's from Sudro. Hey. So, uh, you go you, after this one. You go give us his house address. So <laughs> the way we are describing his name and where he's from. Okay. So, let's go. This 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 guy. Mm. Mm. He loved me, but I don't know what is his problem. I would like call it fear. Okay. Or maybe he was thinking maybe that time I was too young. Maybe I, maybe I, 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 I too fine. I don't know. Okay. So, so please, you should just help me. Okay. We are listening. So, like, this guy, anything I want from him, he always gives to me. Anything I want from him, he will give to me. If I tell him my phone is bad and he doesn't have much, I mean, I don't want you, he must not have plenty money for me to like you. Like, if I meet him for something, rather. Mm. He's going to give me if only he has. So first year pass, second year pass, getting to the third year. Are you guys dated for three whole years? No, it's more than three years or four years. Okay. So hmm. 
you someone that you've been with together and at times if i travel maybe i go to nigeria he will be like he will call me over i'm like ah some guy come and take my money and run away and you tell your friend that the, the guy is very funny like you, you come and tell it. me that hey some that hey that you i should come back to him some guy can we are not we are not we are not broken we yeah you just are, traveled I just out traveled. of town yeah so i will come back so this guy made me mm. i'm supposed to get married to him and go get into ghana uh -huh. there was a girl he was dating and this girl i'm even older than her just imagine fighting like the a girl small we, girl, a over, small a girl man. over a man ah, so it was dangerous it was, dangerous it was really don't try. Pissed. like i was very angry mm. i was like ah. He said hey, he was dating that, yeah he, he 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 saw me before how what and he has been dating this guy at my back since and i don't know she knew about you or yeah she, she knew about it she not. also she knew about me even till today he can't even this guy he can't get over me but i just feel we can't be together so like that is not even the problem. The problem is, she told me you love me, and you want to get married to me. Took me to your people, and you know your girlfriend mm. is coming to Ghana, and you have a girl's photo on your phone saved, like screensaver, and it's not my picture. I say, why is gentleman where you be? Mm. What are you supposed? Sorry, to? Mm. it's not take it off. Even if you're cheating, don't make it. Don't rub it on my face. Yeah. But this, this this photo was there. So I got to Ghana and I saw this photo. That's when the, the basketball started coming out. So I was like, ah, okay, fine. Let this girl go. Since say you want me. For where? Today is here. Tomorrow is here. Today is here. He was confused. He was confused. Exactly that, my concern that, 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 about dating that, a Ghanaian that, man. That, that, hey, that, she that, just that, helped that, to confirm it. When you stay with her two weeks, she will call me the other week. And you'll be like, um, mm. please, I miss you. Come now. I miss you. Hey, I'm not marrying that one. She's then not next here. week. Next, next week, week he has gone back to meet the girl. You just that in this situation. <laughs> like I think that's that's my experience too. But in my case, uh, I'm, I'll share mine later. So <laughs> no talk. Okay. That's so is that is that your last um, relationship in Ghana? Was yeah, that, that your last? That's my last. What was your last relationship yeah. before you finally met my Mister Right? <laughs> For me, <laughs> my own dating experience, my own dating experience in Nigeria versus in Ghana, I think while I was in Nigeria and dating in Nigeria, I would, I would say that I was, I was too young. Mm -hmm. So you see why sometimes it's difficult for me to compare the two sides for me. In your case, now you did this at the space of when you were almost, you know, that age, mm. that 20 yet. I mean, mm. when you were like 20, 20 something. Yeah. For me, I was much, much younger dating back home in Nigeria. And so it was a different ball game for me entirely. And I, I, can, I can beat my chest to say I'm one of the most unlucky women that have ever dated a Nigerian guy before. Because I have... I can also okay, see this thing that this I don't have any great experience to remember like this. Okay, oh, mm. I had this this relationship was incredible with a Nigerian man. You get it? But you you see on the internet, you see Kenyan women, especially Kenyan women, you see Ghanaian women, you see uh, South Africans especially saying, oh, um, Nigerian men are the best. Yeah. Nigerian men are actually the good, best. Good. You get it? But this same me have tried that it didn't work out. So you see why I don't like it when people generalize. Now, that is my Nigerian experience. It was, it has, there's nothing I can write to home about my relationships in Nigeria. What about the Ghanaian aspects? Mm, well, dating in Ghana for me, I would say maybe, I don't know if it's due to the fact that I'm... You, you're I in love with the that. country. No, no, I wouldn't say... Oh, well, I love Nigeria yeah. too. But I would say that it's because, it may be because of mm -hmm. age factor. Now, I'm not that small girl again that I used to be where anybody can lie to me about almost anything yeah. just to have their way right now I'm more I'm matured yeah. like I kind of I know that nobody no woman is above both woman and man nobody is above mm -hmm. um being cheated upon or being lied to yeah you get it but I feel like I'm more matured now than 
I am back then. So here is easy for me when I see an indecisive man or a man who is preparing breakfast for me. I can actually get to know. Sit down there now. I can notice the breakfast coming from the good. Coming. <laughs> so I know how to avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> I will just use my own hand mm. to serve myself the breakfast for the mm. sake of peace. For the, it's still going to hurt when you break up. Even when the breakup is being like when you are the one that called for a breakup. It's still going to hurt regardless. But I think it will do you lots mm -hmm. of good yeah. as a woman to take that honorable walk. <laughs> you know, to say, okay, I'm done. So for me, maybe that had been the reason my dating experiences in Ghana had been great, not all true. Yeah, I had a bad, like I had a Ghana, damaging some dating. Ghana, some, some Ghana men are nice. Was... So now, for me, dating in Ghana, now, mm. as, as if I'm more in control of my life, you know, since I started dating here, because of due to age factor, like I said, so it was, it has... It was much easy for me mm. to keep a healthy relationship. But so now let's look at the generosity aspect of relationship. For you, do you what do you define as a good relationship? As a relationship expert that you are about to become <laughs> on your channel. Tell us. Good relationship. A healthy let relationship. Me generalize it. Mm. You guys must be working like the but if you, you want to have a healthy relationship, okay, like you won't go, you are not going to feel any way, okay. Like you're not maybe less of yourself, or you guys need to be working because I, I feel now, nowadays, these men they need people that work, like, okay, they just want you to go and work and come, okay. Now, what if you are a student and you ca you don't have time to work, you are no, full time no, no, students, students student also work, you can be no, selling. let's say uh, there are some courses you do in school that will not give you chance to breathe and maybe you have to, that that is between your partner maybe you're in school before the man met you okay yeah, so. you have to know that you're, you're schooling so okay you, but do you actually believe that healthy relationship needs the two people having their own monies is that what you're driving at yeah it's it's it's, it's, it's two people two yeah, people in that relationship the, having their own monies yes it's number one priority okay at least, even if you're, you're if the other one is richer if, than the yeah, other, even if you're, you're, you're the man, the it time. shouldn't be man, man. This one, we even women are focusing, other, even if yeah, the other, your even partner, if the other partner has much money, while you have little, mm. it, it will balance the equation. Okay, now, you do you okay? So, it will balance the equation. Yes, do you think who do you think should be the one um, spending the most in a relationship? It should be the man. Because we, we are we are women, we are we are, we are God's It's last true, bone. this one I agree with you because we are God's last born, so uh -uh. We, we need to be We need on. to be soft. So yes. Forget it, softy. Yeah. So, Any money a man makes today, he's not making it for himself. Yeah, he makes it for his, even if he's not making it for, for his, his wife. Wife right now. Even if he's not making it for a woman right now. Later, later in this life, in, in his mouth. life, he is still gonna be for a woman. He's making it for his children. Yeah. Bed by a woman, mm -hmm. and in turn, that woman is gonna benefit from her child that the father worked so hard for. So you believe that men should spend the most money. The in most relationship. money. Yeah. What about ladies who have? What about ladies who have their own monies? They are doing excellently. They are doing good in life. They have their own monies. What is something? Mm -hmm. Ladies that have their own money. Mm -hmm. What so, about ladies that have their own money? Where did they come in? Yes. Yeah. Do you think they should also spend in that? They should be generous to men. Yeah, justice the, for men. Yeah, justice for men. Because the way the the, the generation and yeah. the world is the society. Now, the yeah. society now they like like everything now is going flashy, flashy, flashy. And so what about? We women that we don't know is our men actually likes that little little things, even if it doesn't cost much. But that little things, little packaging, little surprises that we give to them, mm. even if your man you don't have money, and maybe you just say, Babe, come, let's walk to that other joint. And you're walking, be like, Ah, let's see that. Let me buy you and uh, uh, kill away all this. That. Yes. It, they appreciate it, they like it because they'll feel special like a baby because these men, they like to be treated like a baby. Man, in every man there's a king, mm -hmm. there's a man and there's a baby. 
So okay, in, so all three yeah, in one. All three in one. That means the when king, they are angry. Yeah, the matured one is the yeah. man in him. Yeah. And the maturity man, right? And then that the angry ego one. and no that ego yeah. and a pride, the king, and then the soft side of him being the baby. Yeah. So they are all three in one. So you need to be what so you need to work hard to be yeah, able to you achieve. Need to work hard, even if you don't have money, but you need to find time because Women, women are women are becoming I, some women are becoming some. I will I put this greedy or what? So at least once in a while, take your husband out, give him one bottle or two bottles of drink or something. Eh? It's your money that will not kill you. Okay. Buy it for him. It will make him happy. At times, even if he's not aware, he doesn't. He, he didn't give him money to cook. Mm. Cook good meal that day. Take your last saving, cook a nice meal for him, let him eat. And you'll be like, wow, who gave you money? Ah, I prepare it for you now, my king. They like all those things, but okay. they will not say it. Mm -hmm. so, this is coming from strictly out of personal experience, Abby. Yeah. Sometimes you do this to make ah. him feel special. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be like, I'll transfer money and cut your hair. I know he has Are the money. Are you serious? You do that? Oh, yes. I know he has the money. Yeah, he's richer than you. Yeah. Yes, but at least he'll be like, he'll look at me. <laughs> That's love alone. That's yeah. my you, you don't you don't even know what it means for that love. No men men they, they don't know how to come up and say say things in their hearts to mm. to ladies. It's not easy for a man to come out and tell you things in his heart. So but that's only reaction he gets and it has gone along. Okay, so now you're advising women to be to make sacrifice, mm. you know, transfer money for your man to cut his hair. Yeah. And buy his body cream. Okay. All those little little things you can afford. No, we women at times we like use our money. Only our children they chop the money. Mm. So at times you can just buy little little things for him. Okay. Palm, boxers. It's not much, but at least they will appreciate it. Okay. So in in your um in, in your both um dating experiences like Nigeria and Ghana dating experiences, did you at any point make these sacrifices for the men? I was having this thing that. I can't eat my money. <laughs> okay, when you started, yeah, when I started the relationship, then like, later I you did it. Yeah, battery was soon off. So, so when you gave to a Nigerian man and you gave to your Ghanaian boyfriend, you gave to your Nigerian boyfriend. How, who, who, how did they react to it? I feel the Nigerian ones. They okay, appreciated it more. Eh, okay. He didn't feel like you have just um crushed his ego mm, no. as a man. No. Are you sure? No. Okay. So. So that is that is that. That's, that's okay, that's our dating experience. Well, anyways, in everything we have said in this video, it doesn't mean that the men from that country are like that. She is favored in Nigeria by the Nigerian men. Me, I found my favor in Ghana. Even if, like, I like I have been favored. My relationships in Ghana favored me the most. Like favors or favored me because I'm single. Mm. Dear future husband. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ghana dating experiences were the best for me. So for you, which one were the best? Nigeria. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so don't um all men are different individually. So yeah. there's no need to stereotype. So that is our own dating good and bad men experience. Anyway. Yeah. So that is our own dating Fire experience. Your Find your missing rib and take him to the right. Find your missing uh, rib and take him to the... Make him a mister. Take him from the left mm. to the right and he'll be good enough for you. All right. So thank you for having us today. We will see you in our next video.